Underseas Caveman. I had uploaded a video, but it was way too long, so it was rejected. Uh, I'm going to try to respond to your video, but I'm going to have to do it in segments. Uh, in Plato's Allegory of the Cave, to make it short and sweet, uh, there were a group of people that were chained facing the wall with a fire behind them, and in front of them on the wall were the flickering shadows, and that these people defined their reality by the shadows flickering on the wall. A man broke free. He went to the outside world. He saw what the world was. He went back to the cave. He told the people that everything that they were watching was just an illusion, and of course, they rejected his belief. The point is, is that all of our realities, all of our personal realities, are formed by our environmental, social, and psychological constructs that we encounter as we grow up. We are the summation of our past experiences. We are the summation of all our choices, all our decisions, either good or bad, and how they affect us. I read this book in the late 60s by Sir Baba, author Richard Albert. It was called Be Here Now. That uh, my understanding is, is that we are always in the eternal now. We're never in the past. We're never in the future. What choices, what decisions that we make right now determine what our past will be, what our future will be simultaneously. So it is extremely important, at least for me, to understand that my thinking, my behavior, my habits right now determine what my past is going to be and determine what my future is going to be, whether I'm going to have a positive or a negative future. Now, how does this relate to atheism? How does this relate to spirituality? In the book Siddhartha by Herman Hesse, Siddhartha became a ferryman and he took people across the rivers, across a river, and uh, he reflected, uh, he learned from nature, he learned from the river just through observation, the oneness of everything, that how everything is connected, how everything is interdependent upon everything else that there's really no such thing as duality, that ultimately everything is energy, and energy can be focused and directed in, in, in either a positive or a negative aspect. Right now, what we have is a neoconservative Machiavellian mindset that has entered into our field of consciousness and is and is influencing us either directly or indirectly. Most people today never take the time to get away from their computers and their televisions and their iPhones and their iPods just to go out and sit by a river, to be alone and to meditate and to learn from nature, to learn from life. You don't have to be a Christian to do this. You don't have to be a Buddhist and you don't have to be an atheist. It's all a, it's all a part of becoming aware of who you are and the types of energy that you can direct, focus, and use to benefit mankind. And I know this is an over this is an oversimplification, but uh, if I make the video too long, then uh, it won't be accepted by YouTube. So I may have to do this in segments. Uh, I, I appreciate your video. Uh, I wish I had uh, more time to uh, expand on what I'm talking about, but I just want to get this idea across that the atheist, his reality is, is conditioned. The Christian, his reality is conditioned. Uh, the Buddhist, their reality is conditioned. I have a friend who's an evangelical. He believes the earth is only 6,000 years old and that God put dinosaurs on the earth to deceive man. That's his reality. That's his belief. That's his belief system. I, you know, I don't argue with him. So this is all I have to say for right now. And uh, maybe I can break this down into different segments and uh, completely explain what I'm talking about and trying to give a video response to your video on atheism. Thanks a lot for listening.